If you are trying to flip houses, folks, this is where you want to be. I help people like you every single day understand the process of flipping houses, and I point out potential mistakes that you guys might be making. It's better to measure twice and cut once, you know what I'm saying? And today I'm helping my guy Mark from Minneapolis do an out-of-state flip on this particular property. Let's go! This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you guys make the money investing in real estate. I have sold over $200 million worth of real estate and I manage a $75 million portfolio. So folks, this ain't my first rodeo, right? We do it all. Rentals, fix and flip, wholesale, Airbnb, you name it, we do it and we help people like you get good at doing it as well. My guy Mark sent me this deal. Mark's in Minneapolis. He wants to flip houses in my market, the Cleveland market. Because if you flip houses in my market, my team could actually analyze the property, do the renovations, and resell it for you. Now, Mark, this one you sent me, right? 17318 Shermer Road in Strongsville. This one, at first glance, appears like it could possibly be okay for you. Uh, but in fact, doing a little due diligence on this particular one, there is no scenario where you can take down this project. Now, if you look at these photos, okay, it doesn't appear like the house is screwed up at all. It appears like something that, uh, you know, you kind of really want, right? Because, Mark, you're a brand new flipper, and you've sent me a lot of properties to analyze, and every one of them I go through, and I explain things that you may or may not have noticed, and I, you know, try to highlight uh, things for you and for other investors, uh, you know, common mistakes, right? I see people making mistakes, uh, trying to flip houses in the wrong neighborhoods, trying to flip houses in neighborhoods where the ARV is too low, this, that, or the other, right? With this one, seems like you've been following my advice pretty good, right? As far as the neighborhood goes, you pick the solid one, Strongsville, Ohio. That's what I've graded as an A neighborhood. If you check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, folks, that's where you'll see what A grade neighborhood means, right? You got a lot of owner occupants there, a lot of money, right? If you're talking Cleveland market, a lot of the money, right? There's a lot of people making a decent chunk of money in Strongsville, great schools. So the ARVs are going to be high. You want to focus on properties with very high ARVs, right? I get a lot of investors. They try to flip houses in areas where the ARV is like 110. Dude, you're squeezed, right? So Strongsville, we got five, six, seven. $800,000 houses in Strongsville, okay? Uh, but the majority will be uh, in the, like, the three to, like, five range, okay? Now, they're asking 189 for this thing, and it looks like you just have to do a cosmetic flip, which wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, the basement is not finished. You got a decent chunk of land. Uh, it's, like, two acres. It's right behind Strongsville Mall. Uh, normally, I like you to be on, like, cul-de-sac-type streets, the little new developments, but, like, this isn't the end of the world. Uh, this this could have worked, but uh, the one major glaring issue here is this house was built in 46. It actually looks halfway decent on the in and out, so you can't really tell it's much older than a lot of the, the builds you'll find in Strongsville, right? In Strongsville, you'll see a lot of stuff uh, much newer than that. Uh, but the glaring major issue to this one uh, that makes it such an outlier and something that is uh, not something I would recommend for a brand new flipper, especially a brand new flipper trying to do it out of state, is uh, this house is actually not hooked up to city water, right? Now, when you get into like more rural areas of Ohio, uh, some houses, some neighborhoods, right, they'll have well water, they'll have septic, okay? Uh, this particular one, or any type of combination, right? Like in the cities, right? Like Cleveland, Ohio, every single house, folks, city water, city sewer, right? Uh, you get out more in the sticks, you might be a, on the most uh, rural type thing, which is well water, septic, right? But in between, you could have city water with septic. Uh, but this one, it's got city sewer, but doesn't have city water hooked up. And this house has been vacant, according to the listing agent, for several years. 
Uh, all the utilities have been off, but it has never been hooked up to city water. They currently have well water. Strongsville is not a location where buyers are going to be like, well water, yeah, I'm cool with that. No, no, no. Strongsville is a place where like every single house has city water, right? So that's totally an outlier, right? If you are out there, you know, far away, right? If you're in like, uh, oh, I don't know. Let me try to think, right? Like maybe parts of like Painesville, uh, maybe outskirts of Bainbridge, stuff like that, right? Uh, maybe even like Chardon. Maybe you can get away with stuff like that. Maybe like Chatham. Litchfield, areas like that. Yeah, maybe you can get away with well water, but you ain't going to get away with no well water here uh, in Strongsville, right? And the process of actually going through uh, approvals and engineering and this or that to actually bring water to a home like this, uh, actually go through the process of dealing with the city, this or that, it's a very long, cumbersome uh, confusing project, and it is not something you're going to be doing on your first flip, folks. First flips, paint, floors, kitchens, baths, maybe a roof. That's what you guys should be focusing on on your first flips. Going through civil engineering and months and months and months and months of uh, back and forth with the city, you ain't doing that on your first one. Not going to make sense. Uh, even the listing agent in the listing is discussing uh, you know, possibly this might be a lot that makes a lot of sense to just tear the house down and build a brand new house, right? Because it's two acres. So the price point of 189 that's a fair price for two acres in Strongsville. Uh, so I'm probably in agreement that the best use of this building is actually to tear it down. And a first-time person uh, out of state, you ain't building a new house either, man. That's just like well over your head, well over uh, what you'd want to be signing up for, right? You got to let the uh, experienced developers handle stuff like that. So, Mark, this one, no deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.